All right, y'all, we're on part two of our sandwich series, and we just getting started, but we still come with all this pressure. For our first sandwich, we went all out with the crawfish grilled cheese with a nice crispy cheddar cheese crust on the outside. Today, we're going to keep it nice and simple with a BLT, but it's still just as flavorful. Let's go ahead and get into it. Now, with any sandwich, a sauce could take it to a whole new level. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make what I like to call a Creole's. It's not the traditional way to make Creole's, but this is my way. My mayonnaise of choice is always going to be QP. It just tastes better than anything else. Try out Blue Plate if you want. It's a good alternative, but QP is my go-to. We're going to use about a half a cup of that. That's going to be our base. Then I like to come with a little bit of sour cream. We're going to use about a tablespoon or two of that. Next, you want to come with a little bit of Creole mustard. If you don't find Creole mustard, you can use a spicy mustard. I used about two tablespoons of that as well. And I like to kick it up a notch by always adding a little hot sauce to everything, because why not? Use about a tablespoon of hot sauce. We'll slice our lemon. Add a little bit of lemon juice in there. And now for a secret ingredient I like, that little garlic paste. This one is roasted garlic. It's going to add a great flavor to this. Add about a teaspoon of that. And last but not least, we need to come with some Creole or Cajun seasoning. You can season it to taste, but just remember, if you ain't sneezing, it ain't seasoned. Go ahead, give that a nice little mixing until everything comes together. Adjust this to your taste. If you want to add some things like horseradish or something, go ahead and be my guest. You want to take out the hot sauce, take it out. You want to add more hot sauce, add some more. And then this is what we'll be left with. Now the components of a BLT are quite simple. All you're going to need is your bacon, whatever lettuce you like, and then a tomato. I'm not a fan of tomatoes, so I'll show y'all what I do just so I could get that tomato in it to call it a BLT just for y'all purposes. But if it was mine I was making, I wouldn't even put tomatoes on it at all. Now, I don't know why they call it a BLT because you don't even layer it, bacon, lettuce, tomato. You're supposed to layer it, lettuce, bacon, tomato. So really, wouldn't it be called an LBT? I don't know. That's just always something I thought about. But I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Or uh, if it ain't broke, don't break it. However the saying goes. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Let's get into it. Now, I know there's a back and forth when you're dealing with chicken, whether you should wash it or not. And that's still a debate that's up to everybody else. But when it comes to vegetables, you want to make sure, especially leafy greens, you want to make sure that you rinse them off and clean them because you don't want any bugs or anything left behind. But anyway... Get your favorite lettuce. I went ahead and got this lettuce from Whole Food. I just thought it looked nice and had great presentation for what we're doing right now. So we're going to get a couple pieces of lettuce. And we'll slice off this little piece right here. Because we don't want that too much crunch in it like that. This is good enough, but that big thick piece at the bottom, I don't see how people even like that. So we'll fold that over like that, and this will fit our bread perfectly. Beautiful. Now, as far as the tomato goes, I got this slice of tomato from Whole Foods as well. It's kind of firm, so it makes perfect for how we're about to slice it super thin. Now, you can slice this with a knife, but since I'm telling y'all I want it super thin, I'm going to go ahead and use my mandolin. And then we're just going to go ahead and gently slice it until we get those nice pieces that we want. Again, I don't know how people like tomatoes. Slice it a little bit thicker or as thick as you want, but I'm just going thin because that's just my preference. I might knock it down one more. Now we're going to keep slicing it. And it's crazy because I don't like tomatoes, but I love ketchup, tomato sauce, and a lot of things tomato based. But a tomato by itself, not my thing. So as you can see, 
we have beautifully thin slices as far as our bread goes this is one of my favorite things my fiance found this a couple years ago at whole foods and we've been in love ever since it's great on sandwiches french toast whatever it's essentially just a croissant and loaf bread form as you can see it has that croissant look it's soft it's buttery they even have a vegan option of this again you can use whatever bread you want but this is the bread that we'll go with again you can get this right at whole foods and lastly you want to get your favorite bacon this is the star of the show so don't skimp out on this we went with an applewood smoked bacon very thick cut and you can use whatever bacon you want they have beef bacon pork bacon turkey bacon whatever you want whatever type of bacon you like and of course with our bread we're gonna need some butter I like to use this liquid butter because it's just easier to get on the bread and I love to use this on my griddle it doesn't break up your bread when you're trying to spread it and it easily just right on now you can add your butter on your bread but I like to just put it straight on the griddle from there we'll just take our bread sop it up in that butter on both sides and then give it time to grill and I highly recommend using your griddle if you have one or using a skillet inside it just gives you better results than you would if you were in a toaster and the good thing about the griddle is it'll cook a lot faster this has been on there for about 30 seconds we'll go ahead and get it and the good thing about having liquid butter we can always just doctor up the little pieces that don't have enough butter on it and just from the look of it you can tell that this crust is nice and crispy buttery and will just pair well with any type of sandwich you could eat this by itself if you have access to getting this type of bread you got to try it out now we're gonna go ahead and put that on to the side and go to the star of the show the bacon for each sandwich you want about three to four slices of bacon the more the merrier in my opinion but the standard you want to just have about three to four slices minimal now as you can tell i'm using a griddle press i like to use this because it keeps the bacon from curling up like it likes to do and it makes for a better presentation at the end and it also helps the bacon cook more evenly if you don't have access to it just cook your bacon a regular way or put it in the oven now at this point you can take your press off and let the bacon continue to cook you don't need the press anymore because it's not going to curl it's in the form that it'll be in the end and depending on how you like your bacon let it just cook to that wellness i'm gonna go ahead and remove the bacon and put it on the side with the toast and then we're going to get another batch going that was the basic way the next way we're gonna go ahead and make these a little bit more crispier because my fiance just likes her bacon a little bit more crispier than i like mine i don't know what it is something about me i just don't like crispy bacon that's just me though unless it's like bacon bits on top of something then i enjoy those but side note y'all just got to see this bread again look at that <laughs> yes lord and another optional step i like to add to my bacon is to add a little bit of brown sugar it'll give it a nice caramelization on the outside and pair well with that saltiness of the bacon by adding that sweetness you really don't need to add that much just a little bit and they'll be perfect i'm telling you there's two different type of bacon lovers in this world the ones that like that extra crispy bacon then there's the people like me that like a nice little chew to it you add some maple syrup or brown sugar this why it's cooking and i'm telling y'all it's precious y'all let me know what type of bacon lover you are in the comments now it's time to start building our sandwich we're gonna start off with our creoles Get a nice hefty amount of that on there. Spread it out over our croissant toast. Our lettuce. We're going to come with our strips of bacon. But we're going to go ahead and make it four. And finally, we're going to come with our thin sliced tomatoes. And of course, with that, we're going to have to hit it with a little bit of Cajun seasoning on top. And before we top it off, I just need y'all to see how perfect this sandwich is. I've never seen a BLT look better. If you have, I don't agree. All you with your more. <laughs> but for real, though, I'm telling y'all, this, this really is a beautiful looking sandwich. Last thing we need to do, add some more of that Creole's on top of our bread and just close it all. Now we're going to go ahead and cut it. I like to go on a diagonal. I'm going to go ahead and give it a good taste. See how we can even bite into it. Mm. Oh, the flavor of that bacon is just unmatched. It's salty. It has a little bit of sweet because I added that brown sugar on there. And the zestiness from that Creole is just 
you give you that little hit right there if you know what i mean and as far as the tomatoes they're sliced super thin with that cajun seasoning giving it a great flavor it's really not that bad and i actually enjoyed it and then you have the freshness of that lettuce on top of that and then we cannot forget about how beautiful this croissant toast is it's just buttery oh it's just great this whole this whole experience was great i gotta get another bite Now, I really hope y'all are enjoying this series as much as I am. We started off part one with a crawfish grilled cheese, and I'm telling y'all, it was out this world. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and check that video out. So we started off with the crawfish grilled cheese, and then we went into something simple with this BLT. So simple, yet full of flavor with that Creole Lays and the croissant toast and that thick applewood bacon. It's just great. You can't go wrong with a BLT. And if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, make sure that y'all go ahead and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up. And turn on those push notifications so y'all can see all the videos right when I post them. Just like this, whether it be Southern food, the sandwiches, anything that's going on, even food review. Also, can y'all go in the comments and give me some suggestions on what other sandwiches y'all want to see throughout this series. Because it really helps me come up with ideas. Because it's really up in the air right now. I have a few ideas, but I would really like to see what y'all would like to see. I'm going to go ahead and tear up the rest of this sandwich. It's <laughs> just like my name. You're all done. It's just one of them type of days today. The floor is extra seasoned and the tomatoes right where they need to be. And I said to myself, Alden, don't use them tomatoes. Ain't nothing good going to come out of it. And look at that. In my mind, it's the weight of those tomatoes that knock the whole board over. I can't, can't tell me nothing different.